Before we start, I would like to thank all of the patrons that support us every month, which help us keep creating new and exciting visuals for you. And if you find value in this video or just want to get dozens of unique touch designer projects, please consider supporting us on Patreon. I will leave the link below. And without further ado, let's start with the tutorial. So the main technique in this tutorial is going to be a top instancing network um, where the particles are coming towards the camera and we're going to have an object of interest in the middle and then we're going to make it this audio reactive. So to start, we're going to create a noise top and then we're going to attach here a null, we're going to call it pos. We're gonna, of course, make this not monochrome and first 32 bit RGB8. The reason is because with 32 bit float we get values from negative and positive values. And then we're gonna create here a box sub. We're gonna make it a bit smaller, 0 0.01. And then we're gonna create here a geometry comp. Great, and then we're gonna use a uh, camera. And then for now, we're, we're just gonna go into the geometry viewer and we're gonna first work here before we actually go to render. So now we see here one box and if we talk the camera, we see that the camera is here. So for the geometry, we're gonna go and then click on instance instancing on and in the translate operator we're gonna click the pose and we're gonna say here air g and p now we see just like a noisy cloud and now the next step is to actually make it bigger so we're gonna do the, use the point transform the point transform is very useful with dealing with point clouds and generally top instancing because here we can make it just way bigger so something like this so we see it's also like a little offset and the reason is because in the noise there is an offset value we can just put it to zero so we're like kind of in the middle and maybe we can even go a little further till 10 great so now we're we're seeing just this kind of uh, a bunch of points we can even see if we like uh, less density we can always make it a little bigger so it depends on, on what we're looking for now the next step is we want actually to be always moving towards the camera and this is where the main trick is gonna come because here in the point transfer we can translate in the seat axis so if we move it the minus it goes in the minus in the plus plus but we want actually always to go into the plus, but when it reaches a certain point that it goes back. And that's where the limit top comes into play. Because now we can create here this limit top. And in the limit top we can say minimum and maximum set to loop. And of course by default it's just set to minus one and one, but we can start playing around with these values. So we can say, minus 40 and 40 and now we can see that that when the point transform surpasses this it starts to go back from here so wait let me make it more obvious so you see that now the, the cloud is moving and uh, and now that we have this to set up this is the most important part using the point transform and the limit we're gonna i'm gonna animate this with the uh, apps time dot seconds times 0 0.5 uh, or maybe it's even too fast we can 0 0.1 and then let's uh, make uh, a render and then we can play around with the again with the different different options so i'm gonna split uh, top to bottom i'm gonna put this here into the top viewer and we're gonna have a constant material for this geo then we're gonna use a uh, render top I'm gonna uh, create an RGB key 
and at the and out at the end. So we just use it. Okay, so actually, maybe to see it better, I'm gonna just close this. So we see that we have here the, the galaxy. So this is the, the first part. Uh, and like I said, we can, of course, make it uh, faster if we put here 0 0.5. And right now we see that some parts it gets a little dark and a little um, brighter. And the reason is because this maximum value, we can set it to 10. And if we go back to the geometry viewer, what it's doing is just behind the camera. It's just, I mean, it's just going back to the beginning. So, so yes, so right now we have this part. This is the, the first part of the technique. So using the point transform and the limit. And now we're gonna create a torus sop. And we're going to create here a geo directly. And we're gonna create here a wireframe or a line material may be better. And here we're gonna, of course, maybe make the, let's use a transform here. And we can make it uh, a little smaller and we can uh, put the set the rotation to always move. So ups time the seconds times 20 and we can copy copy the expression and put this here as like 23 and we got this kind of rotating torus and maybe we can even rotate it here by 17 okay so we got this uh, rotating torus and we can even make it a little smaller great and another trick to make it the inside not being like that you cannot see the other lines, we can actually duplicate this geo and create a constant material to this and use a black color to it. Okay, so now it looks a bit better. So now we have the galaxy and a torus and I wanted to actually make it uh, audio reactive. So I'm gonna just make a basic technique I'm gonna drag and drop some audio. So this is uh, some song called Beauty in Chaos from this other space. And I'm gonna set here the audio device out so we can uh, listen to it. Maybe we can play a little louder. Great. So now for this, I'm just going to use uh, here uh, first an audio uh, spectrum which is here so and then with the audio spectrum I'm just going to use an analyze so this is the kind of the easiest way to make something audio reactive I'm gonna use the RSM power and I'm actually just gonna select one channel and I'm gonna select just channel one I'm gonna rename it to audio all right so we have here also already some pulsating uh, value with it and then i'm gonna just create here a null so right now we have this value that's going from like zero to something we can uh, create a speed chop after this and with the speed chop is going to just go faster when this is higher and slower when this is slower and i'm gonna create another null and I'm gonna color this uh, red. So what we can do is use in the point transform, we have this expression abs time dot seconds. We can actually use this null two. And right now, if we put again the, the volume, we see that it's moving, but it's very slow. And the reason is because before the speed, we might need to just increase the values with a math so with a math we can put it before and then we can in the multiply just make it higher so maybe times 10 and then we can see that that is moving the music we can even put hard 20 
or you can even go crazy with it, so 50. Maybe I'm gonna go with 30. So here you can see that it's also moving the galaxy with it. And now what we can do is also use just then this raw value, which is this uh, zero, this null one. I would like to have it always in the zero to one um, range. And in order to do this, I'm going to use a trail. And then with the trail, I'm going to use two analyze. So one is going to be the minimum, one is going to be the maximum. So here, if I got here in the analyze, I'm just going to put here a maximum and then here a minimum. So I'll have the maximum and the minimum from the window. And now what I can do with this, I'm going to add a new operator. I'm going to use a math here. And in this math, I'm going to remap in the range from the minimum. So this is the minimum. So I'm going to remap from the minimum to the maximum. And in this way, I'm going to always get a value between zero and one from this. And now what I want to do is to actually use this for the, um, the size of the torus. I mean, maybe from zero to one is, is it's too big, but still we can we can use it for for something else. I mean, we can reduce and remap stuff. So, for example, here I'm going to use another transform, which is only going to apply on the uniform scale. So, sorry, I'm going to make this viewer active and make this into the uniform scale. And of course, this is way too big. But the cool thing is now I have my range, so I'm going to go like, let's say, 0 0.8. And now it's also kind of pulsating. So if you put some volume to it, now we see, now we see that when the music is louder, it comes. Of course, we can always use a, a filter, filter uh, to reduce kind of the how, how strong it is. So if you see, listen. Great. And maybe uh, the last thing that we can use, I mean, if we actually use here a noise sub, of course, it's not the most effective, but with a low poly, what we can do is actually use this amplitude because when it's zero, it's the same, but we can actually deform it with the, with the music. So we see that with the amplitude one, so it's actually good. So we can actually use the, um, the uh, actually the raw signal from, from uh, we can duplicate this math and instead of 0 0.8 to one, we can actually go 0 0.1. So here we can use the zero and one. And now we can actually use this null four. So, so here we can use the this in the amplitude. The amplitude here. And again, when we listen. And, and we can, of course, again, use the same filter. We can duplicate it and put a little less flaking. And now we got this. Great. And for the last step, I'm actually going to use maybe the, the same values, but for some post-processing, I want to just uh, use a uh, bloom. A uh, bloom. And for the bloom, I'm just going to Lock this here, and maybe the, the, the plum level a little bit, the glow level. And of course, you can start playing with uh, different parameters, but maybe here this can look nice because when once we are like here, let's say intensity at 
1 it's good and we need 0 so we can actually get this kind of also pulsating with the audio and we have actually this already going from from 0 to 1 so we can actually use this value on here in the intensity and now we have also the kind of the brightness going on and i'm gonna leave it this for now but of course you can expand this network and you can create more effects and transitions and use other elements but the, more in, the most important part to take away is the point transform with the limit together to create this kind of infinite galaxy uh, coming towards you and yes i hope you enjoyed this tutorial and thank you so much for watching and please consider joining our patreon for more tutorials and exclusive files thank you so much and we we'll see you soon in the next one Bye-bye.